It is the best day of the week, especially if you're a fan of Flashpoint, Batman Beyond, and the X-Men. That's right, it is New Comic Book Day. What is up? I am the G.I. Joel, and I love comic books so much that I left a full-time job to pursue my dream of opening a comic shop and making content full-time. If you like comic book content, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to join the G.I. Joel Nation. Thomas Wayne Batman has been a fan favorite ever since he first appeared in the Flashpoint storyline. And now we are revisiting this beloved character in Flashpoint. Batman Night of Vengeance. In this one shot, we revisit Thomas Wayne after the events of Flashpoint, and he is faced with a decision. If he can change the world, should he? We see the world that Thomas calls home. Oswald Cobblepot, his assistant and primary associate. Jim Gordon, his best friend and head of Gotham Security, Gotham's private police force. We see his world's oracle, his Harvey Dent, and of course, his Joker. We get to explore the origins of this Gotham's Batman and Joker and their shared tragedy. This one shot does a really good job of showing how much the death of Bruce has affected Thomas Wayne. You know, there's really great times where he's doing something and something sends him back instantly to the memory of his son dying in Crime Alley. And this does a really great job of showing you why Thomas Wayne really is the way that he is. And what is he willing to do to change his world? If you are a fan of Flashpoint, if you are a fan of Thomas Wayne Batman, then I definitely recommend you check out this all new one shot. The Rocketeer, The Great Race, issue number one. I was a huge fan of the Rocketeer movie as a kid. It's definitely like an unknown kind of Disney classic, but it wasn't until I got older that I learned of the Rocketeer's comic book history. And this issue is a great intro to the character of Cliff Seckard and the Rocketeer. We open up with Cliff Seckard listening to the radio as there is reports of Nazi sleeper cells in the hills of California. Cliff does what he does. He puts on his Rocketeer garb and he flies out to go face this new threat. But while fighting these Nazis, Nazis, he is shot down and his life begins to flash before his eyes and he begins to wonder, is he done being a hero? Is he done placing his life on the line? And what should he do now that he's decided that he no longer wants to endanger himself? There's also a great history section in the back of this story to help you learn more about the Rocketeer and his long storied history in American media and comics. I definitely recommend that you check out The Rocketeer, The Great Race, issue number one. We have an all new mission for Mutant Kind's pirate crew this time in space. We have Marauders, issue number one. The Marauders have found a two billion year old cube with a note in Kate Pride's handwriting. A note that leads them directly to Cassandra Nova, the murderous sister of Charles Xavier. And she points them in the direction of Shihar to rescue what is known as the First Mutants, because Marauders go where they are needed, not where they are wanted. The Marauders are one of my favorite X-Men teams. You know, I, I'm a sailor, I was in the Navy, so I really love good seafaring stories and pirates. So I was really excited for this all new series and it definitely takes a great kind of science fiction twist on the Marauders, sending them into space, sending them to go and to go to Shi'ar space and to free some mutants that have been trapped for what seems like a really long time. A lot of intrigue, a lot of mystery as to what exactly is happening on Shi'ar and what part do the mutants have to play in it. Terry McGinnis is back in my pick of the week. That's right, Terry McGinnis of Batman Beyond is back, but this time without Bruce Wayne. Bruce has been killed and within a few days, the face of Neo Gotham has changed. His company has been taken over by a former crime Crime Lord of Bloodhaven, who is using the Wayne powered name and corrupting it in so many ways. And Terry does whatever he can to keep Bruce's legacy intact. Because despite everything, Batman endures. There are new threats in the streets, and old friends are hard to come by in Neo Gotham. I am super excited to see what the future has in store for Terry, especially because we're seeing him in a situation he's never been in before, one where he is alone. He is driven and singularly focused on maintaining the mantle of the Batman. And I loved everything about this issue. You should definitely check it out. The artwork was fantastic and it really reminded me of the Batman Beyond animated series. So if you're a fan of that, if you want to see what Terry is up to currently and you know the DC continuity, I definitely recommend you check out Batman Neo Year number one. Mutants on Mars. That's right, we have X-Men Red number one. If you're not up to date with all of the goings on of mutant kind, currently one of their major accomplishments has been terraforming and colonizing Mars now called Araco. X-Men Red follows the story of the mutants of Mars. You know, they're very different than their Krakoan kin counterparts. They are a little bit more violent, a little bit more, you know, 
brutal and almost uncivilized, but their culture is very different as they came up very differently than the Krakoan mutants. We open with Storm as the current Kryn regent of Arako, and the future of that seems really uncertain, the future of what Arako is going to do. We also have Magneto arriving after abdicating his seat on the Quiet Council, and he's come to Arako to find seclusion. And the mutants of Mars might be very different than those of Krakoa, but one thing that they have in common is the need for a team of protectors and leaders. Now, should that team be an X-Men team from Earth sent to Mars, or perhaps something else? This was a great read, a great science fiction kind of take on X-Men. I'm super excited to see what this series has in store, and you should definitely check it out when you get a chance. As always, you can shop all of this week's newest titles at gtxcomics.com, link in the description below. What did you pick up this week? What are you excited to read? Let me know in the comments. I would love for a chance to connect with you and get to talk comics. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow to join the G.I. Joel Nation, and I'll see you at the next video.